Tell us what you're learning from the first year of the 916 in the aviation community. The, the big thing with the 916 is it's it's a beautiful engine to be a replacement for like a like Homing 320 or 360. The problem is it's 200 pounds lighter. You saw the RV9 that Lockwood brought to uh, Oshkosh last year. It was like three iterations to get the installation to where the airplane still handled the way it's supposed to. Yeah. That's the interesting thing about the 916. So most of them are going into things like gyros at this point because people just want all that horsepower. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then you've got the Stoll guys that are all about it. The big thing we're learning is very much like the 915. It's running well. We're really happy with it. Uh, the biggest thing that we're having to do is help people figure out how you do an installation with it. So it's like people are asking, okay, what about when Mosaic comes out? Is that going to have an impact with the 916? Yes, I believe it will. It'll have a big impact. I anticipate about a three to four year delay on that just because people are going to have to start designing airplanes around the engine and the first ones that do are going to be doing really well with, with the engine. But yeah, it's beautiful. We, we love it. We've heard a lot about the initial operators. Again, everything has been about, well, installation is something you've got to learn. What advice do you give to somebody who's thinking about an installation? How do they get up to speed before they start bending metal? Boy, that, that, that's a nice segue. Come to training. Okay, we do, we do training in about three different places around the country. And the big part about it is, are you going to learn something that's going to solve all the problems with your installation? No. But when you run into those and you call us about it, now you're speaking the same language so we don't get into confusion and, and we're going to help you get past those things a lot faster than you otherwise would. So it's worth it. Where can people get more information about the training and background and so forth that they need to operate a Rotax these days? You can go to rotaxirmt.com and, and click on training schedule. You can also go to lockwood.aero, click on the training button, you'll see all the classes that we have scheduled. And uh, yeah, and then if you got questions, let us know and we'll help you figure out what you need to do.